and the pandemic has changed the way we do almost everything, including the way we work. The transition to the work from home lifestyle has many people looking for ways to upgrade their home office. News Channel 5's Jennifer Krause joins us live with more. She's been working at home for a while now. And Jennifer, there's one item <laughs> regaining popularity. That's right. You know, as things are starting to return to normal, a lot of people say they don't plan on returning to the office five days a week. So what that means is the old laptop and tablet just aren't enough anymore. So a lot of people, believe it or not, are going back to the old tried and true desktop and big monitor for their home office. With smartphones, tablets, and laptops seemingly everywhere these days, you may have forgotten about the powerful yet humble desktop computer, something Paul Germain built himself. I can put the best components in, the very best video, the, the best screen, the best processor. And I'm not bending over to look at a little tiny screen. Everything's just the way I want it. Sales of desktops have risen recently by a lot, and Consumer Report says there are several reasons to consider buying one for your home. Desktops have a large display, impressive computing power, and are more ergonomic than laptops. Imagine that. No more hunching over a laptop. With a desktop like this new 24-inch all-in-one Apple iMac with an M1 processor. Consumer Report's experts say it did well in performance tests and has an excellent display. A less expensive option, this HP Envy full-size desktop, one of the fastest in Consumer Reports ratings. Plus, it scored excellent for ergonomics. And if you're tight on space, this compact model from Asus could be the perfect fit. And while you can't take a desktop outside, say if you want to work there or to a coffee shop, Consumer Report says the trade-offs for getting a desktop are probably worth it. They say with a desktop, you get more bang for your buck, you get more power, better performance, and Amy and Ben, of course, you get that bigger display.